Hey friend, it's Jackie from So White Creations and today I'm going to show you how I painted this concrete step with a homemade stencil. I've stenciled a few floors and I gotta say, this was the easiest one and I think I would use this technique again. I'm going to be painting this concrete pad in front of our shed. It's pretty dirty and it needs to be cleaned first. <laughs> I used my Craftsman pressure washer to give it a good clean and it worked really well. I did try a small hexagon stencil as you can see here, but I just wasn't happy with it. I knew it needed a bigger scale. So on an impulse I painted it all black, but then I wasn't sure what to do next. I ended up cutting out two hexagons out of chipboard with my Cricut and I used them as a stencil. I saw this done by experimenting with decor on Instagram, but she used a paint pen. I did check our local stationery store to see if I could find a paint pen, but they didn't have the size that I needed and I wasn't sure how many I needed and I thought it might get kind of costly if I needed a few. So I decided to just try it with a small paintbrush and it's got short bristles and just an outdoor exterior paint and I can't believe how well it actually worked. I do recommend pushing down fairly firmly on the chipboard stencil or cardboard template um, because then it will just help make sure it doesn't move around and smudge the paint. I was really worried about smudging but I was surprised that I didn't have any issues. You'll also want to work your way in horizontal lines across and not down because otherwise it just the pattern kind of gets messed up and I kind of tried at one point but just just go horizontal, trust me. The only other tip I have is to wipe your chipboard clean after each use. To tie it all together, I painted a white border around it all and I just used painter's tape to mark that out. One of the cool things about this is I didn't even do any touch-ups. Um, I could have in a couple spots, like right there, I could have done a little touch-up. But yeah, this is up close and I could have done a little bit of touch-ups along here. I used tape to um make this line but like it's all like freehand with the stencil and i really can't believe how well it's done i did not put a top coat on so it will wear um but i'm okay with that it's just for the shed i could just sit here and stare at it now that you've seen how easy this is what do you think would you give it a try let me know in the comments and don't forget to follow along at so Bright creations on instagram for the day-to-day -day diys if you're looking for more behind the scenes content, you can check out my Patreon account at So Bright Creations for behind the scenes content as well as tutorials. Soon I will be offering a tutorial club where you will get tutorials every month. Super fun and creative DIYs just like this one.